good day and namaste everyone welcome to our channel simple life in nepal with the gear family today i'm going to cook um nepali vegetables um which i uh harvested from our garden my garden on the wall look this is the uh, vegetables that i harvested from my wall garden it's a uh, string beans it's a local or how to say uh, native string beans this one is more expensive than the long one Oh, that is long one is Chinese uh, string beans, something like that. Yeah, nowadays vegetables are so expensive that vegetables string beans cost like two hundred a kilo, and I har I harvested like almost more than a kilo actually. So I will be cooking only half of it, and half of it will be I'll be saving it for tomorrow. Okay, so let's start cooking our vegetables. First, I have to fry my potato here in Nepal potato is uh, cooked with everything any vegetables you could cook with it except meat uh, except meat like meat or chicken or mutton or any meat as you will ask in fish you don't use or you don't cook it with potato but with vegetables you could cook it with anything so first we have to fry our potato. As we know, potato is so six times to cook. So I think I put a lot of oil. Yay! Oh my god, it's so fast. It's kind of burning my potato so fast. Yeah, here in Nepal actually, they cook vegetables and meat with a lot of oil. They want it oily. So that is a typical Nepali food. So you will be surprised when you come here. You could see or eat some kind of oily food. Or you could see the meat and the vegetables were so oily, a lot of oil. That is a natural way or the way of cooking in here. But nowadays, conscious health, conscious people, they cook with the the vegetables with few oil nowadays. Uh, that is including me because once you reach 40 years of age, you have to be careful of what you eat, especially you have to eat less oil. So before our potato get burned, I will be adding some meaty or fenugreek. That is optional, depends on you if you like it or not, because fenugreek is kind of um, bitter. It has a bitter taste. I don't have a, a chili. Just bring that one into half. Oops. I will just put only one chili because it's spicy and my kids won't eat it. Uh, I mean, uh, they don't like too spicy. I myself don't like too spicy. A little bit kind of spicy is okay, but too much is not good also. Okay, now let me add on my other vegetables. I have here my chipli bindi or lady's fingers. And then my string. Try this one for a few minutes, like around 2 to 3 minutes, and after that we will put in our spices. Okay, after frying for around 2 to 3 minutes, I will be adding on my ginger and my garlic. Uh, some people um, first fry the garlic and ginger, some people also put the garlic and ginger at last. Okay, the at the, or after the vegetables. So different people cook in different ways. But maybe is that the spices that we're using. Okay, now let me put on my spices. Here is a spice, three spices here. It has how many 
container in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven container in there. It's so cute, right? You can put it all your spices in there. And it has a cover in there. Go like that. Let's open it. And then you could have all the spices in there at once. Okay, we have your minus black pepper. I have your mixo. Uh, masala is uh, cumin and coriander seeds. Uh, powder. And this is my turmeric, some salt, and chili powder supposed to be, but I don't have chili powder right now. I have only the dried one. And here is the miti or fenugreek. Okay, so I will be getting all the spices from here. Oops, it might fall down. Okay, let me add in a teaspoon of turmeric. Half teaspoon actually, and then a teaspoon of mixed masala. A teaspoon of salt. It depends on your uh, teaspoon of salt. And then, yeah, maybe if you want, you could add also some uh, black pepper. I have black pepper, I have black pepper for spice and for additional taste. It's optional. It's up to you if you want to add some. And then after that, we will cook this one, mix it in, and then leave it for around 10 minutes until it's totally cooked. Okay, again, here, this is, people here, they put a lot of masala, mixed masala and turmeric. But for me, I just put a little masala. Okay. Since you are saving my black dog, I really like to save <coughs> money. Oh, that's what happens when I cook every time. These spices have strong smell that cost me sleeping. But in quick <coughs> eating afterward, I'm sorry eh? about that. Okay, so we will just leave this for around 10 to 10 minutes and mix it once in a while and after that we're done. So this is my second daughter Hazel. She's tasting right now the uh, turkey that I cook. So how is it, Hazel? I cook it in Nepali style with a lot of masala and cook with many oil. It's good. It's, it's good. good. Um, it's good. <laughs> it's not so spicy. Mm -hmm. I just put one chili. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's this. Would you like it, right? Okay, that's good. Okay, so so let's end our video. Can you help me end the video for today's vlog? Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Say hello, thank you for watching. And have a good day. Thank you for watching. <laughs>